restriction easing up a bit by now you'll be done with your with buying gifts and probably buying the food for the Noche Buena uh, this season let us not lose sight of who we are remembering and celebrating it is not about the chestnuts roasting uh, on an open fire uh, it's not about the yuletide carols being sung not about the Christmas trees not about the parole and it's not about the toys and the gifts that we will be receiving, etc. And I will be reading uh, from John 3, verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. This verse often taken for granted but in our family this has given us so much hope so much hope and comfort last december 16 2021 at about 6 30 p.m my dad breathed his last and uh, he passed through the sheep gate straight into the arms of the father in heaven sometimes we focus so much on the gift and lose sight of who the giver is john chapter 3 verses 16 and 17 is a love story of a father of a loving father giving his very best giving what is necessary giving what is needed it is about giving up his own son delivering his own son so that we might be saved from our sins so that we may have eternal life. And he did this without condemning us, without con condemnation, even if we deserve it. Um, I want you to understand that Jesus was not born to be a savior, but he was born a savior. Luke chapter 8, um, verse 11 also says, For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, Christ the Lord. Luke chapter 2, verses 10 to 12. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior. There it is again. Who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you, to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. In the succeeding devotions, you would probably hear that this babe wrapped in swaddling cloths was also not born to be a king, but born a king. Isaiah chapter 9. Um, oh, sorry. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the day of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? He was born king of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. The wise men knew enough. They knew enough that this baby wrapped in swaddling cloths is the long, is the prophesied and the long-acquainted king savior worthy of worship i say chapter 9 verse 6 for unto us a child is born a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace this baby born of mary in a manger was not born to be a god but was born a god he was born god the father's best present to us is a God, a King, and a Savior. Now, being a follower of Jesus or a Christian, it's not just about having our sins forgiven and knowing that you will go to heaven when you die. If heaven is the objective of salvation, then as soon as you receive eternal life, you will die right away. 
John 17, verse 3 says, And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. We are the children of the living God, co-heirs in Christ, and citizens of heaven. We have eternal life. We are living eternal life right here and right now. It is about living life in the here and now under His Lordship, under His governance, and under His kingship. The gift of eternal life is about following Him and doing our part in the telling of His story. Like the star of Bethlehem, may the light of Jesus Christ in you burn ever so bright. Like, like the wise man, they too shall see, they shall seek, they shall follow, and they shall receive the good news. And have the opportunity to come and worship the King. This Christmas season, season, may your best present of all be the eternal life in Christ Jesus. May you experience His simple but extravagant and abiding love that He freely gives through Jesus Christ. May His Holy Spirit guide you through each day, each hour, each minute, and each second of the coming year. May you feel God's presence even in the simple things in life. A walk in the park, uh, the, 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 uh, the smell of cut grass, a smile in a child's face, a kiss or a hug from a loved one, a call from a friend, um, the chirping, the sound of chirping birds, um, sitting down with your family, eating a simple meal, um, the stillness of the night, or early morn, fleeting moments to see, smell, touch, and appreciate the beauty of God's creation and to feel His extravagant love for us, even in the most mundane of things. May God's blessings and perfect shalom be with you and your family this Christmas and New Year. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Shalom without